Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and in this edition of Let's Learn Dragon Ball Fighters, we're going to be talking about the concept of the Hyper Instant Air Dash. Now, uh, you could also, I suppose, call this a Super Jump Install Instant Air Dash, uh, if you recall the video from a couple weeks back about Super Jump Installs, uh, but since the gentleman who showed this to me called this the Hyper Instant Air Dash, that's what we're going to call it. So, what is a Hyper Instant Air Dash? Well, uh, if you know how to Instant Air Dash here... Uh, you know, you basically can just hit up and forward, and then forward, and that's it. So if you want to use the uh, keypad notations, it would be 9 and 6, right? Or conversely, you can hold up and hold forward and homing dash in the air. Uh, it's not quite as fast as the 9-6 method, but it also works as well, right? So what we're going to be doing now is just, what we're going to do here is super jump. So that is down in any direction, down, back, down, or down, forward. And then we're just going to instant air dash from there. So we're in the corner right now. I just want to show you the distance. So right now, this is a regular instant air dash. And you see the distance we are roughly uh, from Frieza. And we can kind of use this little uh, X marks the spot here as our kind of guidance. So once again, we are roughly this far from Frieza. So now I'm going to show you two examples of using a hyper instant air dash to control your distance. As you can see, this time around, hey, we're quite a bit closer than we were before. Before, we were roughly around here, right? So now we're around here. And not only can we be closer, we can also be further away. So now you can see we have now landed further away. So we can either usually go the regular distance, we can be closer, or we can be further. We have choice over this matter. So once again here, all I'm doing is just a regular instant air dash motion, and I am hitting down and then doing it. I do play uh, Dragon Ball Fighters on pad, uh, so for me it's a little more comfortable for me to hit down and back and then go into the instant air dash uh, to start the super jump and canceling it into the air dash versus say down or down and forward. Uh, if you're on arcade stick or a hitbox or whatever, your mileage may vary, right? Uh, for me on pad, I find it easiest to do down back and then go into the motion, but uh, once again, you'll try it for yourself, see how it works for you, right? So now that we have learned, unlike a regular instant air dash, we can kind of control our distance here, uh, further back or a little further forward, and how is that? So, uh, once again, from the Super Jump install video, uh, if you're not aware, we can control, uh, to some small degree, our movement when we are in a Super Jump. So here's me jumping forward, and after my second jump, that's it. I cannot move in any way, shape, or form, right? But if I were to Super Jump, even after my second jump, holding up forward or up back will let me move and control some air. So basically, uh, the movement from the super jump, the instant air dash retains that property. So if you want to uh, hyper instant air dash and hold up and forward, you will move further than a regular air dash. Or if you would like to hold up and back, you will actually move uh, less far than a regular instant air dash would let you move. So we're gonna show you now this concept in action here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hit the Frieza with this kind of regular old block string into an assist. And from this distance, you know, Fiend's Air Dash, we get, you know, certainly, you know, nothing bad, right? We can get a little bit of an attack follow-up, but, you know, once again, also, you know, not necessarily something special. But now, with the Hyper Instant Air Dash technique, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be able to cross him up. Once again, this is from the exact same distance we start, nothing else changed. Just by using this technique, it'll give us just a little bit extra... A distance we can use to get a cross up. Exact same setup here, nothing has changed in any way, shape, or form. And as you see there, we got a cross up. So all we did is we did uh, down back, and once again, it could be any down of your choice. I just choose to do down back, and then we went right into an incinerator dash. And why were we doing that? I was just holding up and forward to use that super jump install to gain just a little bit of extra forward momentum so I was able to cross them up in a situation where normally an instant air dash would never be able to cross up. And conversely, say you have a setup here right. where uh, you would normally cross up at an exact distance, then you can instead uh, do the hyper instant air dash and kind of hold up and back to land a little bit short of the usual cross up and then you, know, you can cross up in a different way. Instead you would land in front when normally you would always land cross up. So it's a fairly simple technique. Uh, it might take your little fingers a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're used to just in snare dash in the way you've always been doing it for, you know, last long while. Uh, but yeah, it basically lets you mix, uh, mess around with the distances of what everyone's kind of accustomed to. And potentially it can create some new left-right situations that people have never really expected. 
So yeah, very interesting technique indeed. It was always there, you know. Uh, we already learned about super jump installs a while back, right? Uh, but uh, it just kind of comes to light now. Uh, I, I gotta imagine, you know, someone knew this, right? But it definitely could not have been wide knowledge, otherwise I wouldn't have known about this before, which I didn't. Uh, so yeah, here it is for your enjoyment. Uh, you can definitely make a lot of fun things happen with this, so go out and explore and find out your options, my friends. But anyways, that is it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.